Before I start this video, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Hi guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my March favorites. So I'm going to start off with beauty like I think I usually do. Um, I've been loving the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic. This is an exfoliating glycolic acid toner. This is just the travel size. That's $3 from Target, but they do sell the big bottle, which is like $15 or $16, which I didn't go for yet because I didn't know how my skin was going to react to it, but I think I need the big bottle because I love putting this on after I wash my face at night. It doesn't burn or hurt your face at all. It slightly tingles if you really pay attention, um, for my skin at least, which is usually really, really sensitive to stuff like that. Um, and it just helps exfoliate the dead skin cells off and gives you a glow because you get the dead skin cells off and you got a fresh face, girl. I have another skin favorite next, and it's the Ancient Earth Secrets Moroccan Gasoul Clay. It absorbs impurities, clears blemishes, and you can use it to clean your hair, actually, which I haven't tried yet. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever used clay to cleanse your hair. Very interesting concept to me, but I mix this with apple cider vinegar. I highly recommend if you're using a clay mask to, that's all natural, that's only clay, to mix it with apple cider vinegar instead of water because you'll get more benefits from that. Um, and I just leave it on until it hardens and then wash it off. It's rich in silica and it helps your skin smooth out and absorb all clogged pores, impurities, whatever's in there, it gets it out. And uh, I definitely like what it does. It just looks like poop. My next favorite for this month is the Bad Habit Inferno palette. And I got this in a Hush haul, which I'll leave linked above. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll also leave it down in the description bar below if that's easier for you to find it. But I've been using this every day as part of my daily makeup routine. It's kind of a mess right now. I've hit pan on warmth. That's just the best color. And I just look better in warm tones and I have green eyes. So warm orangey red tones really bring out green eyes. So I end up wearing this a lot. and. I think out of all the palettes that I got, um, the two that I use the most would have to be this one and the Unicorn Glow Highlight Palette. So definitely check out that video if you haven't before because I'll show you all the little palettes I got from Hush. But yeah, that one is definitely a must. It's a dupe of the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. And I wouldn't even think or imagine to spend the money on the Urban Decay one because that one's just as good. The next item I have is I don't know if it's another dupe, but it's a Wet n Wild contour palette. And if you don't know, Wet n Wild is the shit. Like for drugstore makeup, which I really don't buy much of unless it's NYX, um, Wet n Wild knows what they're doing. So I got the contour palette. This shade is just, it doesn't do anything for me. It's too dark, the highlight shade. I can't highlight with it at all. So I pretty much don't use it. If I use it for anything, I'll use it on my lids just to kind of give my lids just a base color of a neutral um, skin tone, but this brown shade for contouring is perfect. And when I look for a contour shade, I make sure it has cool tones in it, but it doesn't look too cool on me because it can look like muddy and dull. But I also know that it's really hard to find one that doesn't look orange sometimes if you're going for a more affordable contour. And I wanted one that didn't break me out also, and this has not broken me out. It seems pretty good. So I've been loving it. This is in the shade Dolce de Leche. Is that how you say it? It's 749A. And I highly recommend it. Next category would be hair. And I have been using the Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Nourish and Silken Leave-In Treatment. Every time I wash my hair, I put this in my wet hair before I blow dry it to protect it and nourish it and get it to look somewhat silky for blonde bleach damaged hair. Um, I recently did a lot of things to it and uh, don't really wanna talk about that, but it helps the manageability and it helps soften dry, brittle hair. So I really like it also. It smells like roses, girl. Ooh, smells super pretty and yeah, I, I like it. It's, it's all natural and it doesn't have ingredients that'll break my skin out if I put it in my hair. Another hair loving product is the Hask Argan Oil of Morocco Mask. This is the Repairing Deep Conditioner. Is it a mask? It's a deep conditioner. It's, it's, it's a hair mask. I don't really know. I don't use these really at all unless it's by the brand Shea Moisture and doesn't have coconut oil in it. I can't use most of these packets. You know, that lovely section of Sally's where it's got a billion of these and you can just pick one. It makes your hair feel like silk. 
I can't use it because it's got, they mostly all have silicones in them or coconut oils. But since this one doesn't have silicones in it and just has argan oil, it has a bunch of other stuff too that's probably not the best, but this was the best one they found and it works really well. I was at CVS and I came across this lotion that smelled so good. This is the Andalo Naturals um, Lavender Thyme Body Lotion. And Lavender Thyme is such a good combination. It smells so good. It's got essential oils in it. Makes my skin feel so soft. And it's got super fruits or rose hip and argan oils in them in it and shea and cocoa butter so it makes it just makes your skin feel so good and smell so good food favorites this month i've been loving dairy free yogurts i don't often eat any kind of dairy yogurts anymore i'm a vegetarian but i'm not a vegan um but i just don't really like regular yogurt that much i get acid reflux usually if i have it so I've been getting the silk yogurts once in a while. I try to stay away from soy, but these have protein. So after working out, I try to maybe eat a yogurt if I can't have a protein shake. So it's another source of protein. Um, I definitely like the blueberry flavors the best, but this is the main one that I get and I eat the most, the So Delicious Coconut Milk Yogurts. These I highly recommend. And they don't taste weird and have like a weird, um, consistency to them like some other dairy-free yogurts they just they taste really close to a yogurt without the like tartness I don't know I mean maybe I'm thinking too much of Greek yogurt because that's what I used to eat but I just really like them and I put granola and fruit on top another thing that I've been loving this month and last month pretty much have been the mint chip brownie lara bars mint chocolate chip is my favorite ice cream flavor and I love brownies. So I figured why not go put them together? Lara Bar, you're a genius. There's only six ingredients in here, so I don't feel so guilty eating them. They're not, they're pretty small size, but they get the chocolate fix in. They're made of dates, almonds, chocolate chips. Um, I think they're vegan. Cashews, cocoa powder, and peppermint oil. I wonder if there's a little vegan sign. I don't think there is. Yeah, I don't think this is uh, has any animal products in it, so. I think Lara Bars are super awesome because they mimic a lot of like desserts, but they're made of like dates and things that are good for you. So I like to trick my brain into thinking I'm eating brownies when I eat this. And last but not least, I have a book favorite. I don't have the book with me here, but I can put a picture in. Uh, I had to return it to the library because I rent books from the library, but it's called Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. It's a psychological thriller. I definitely recommend it. I could not look away from it. Finished it super, super fast. I don't know if I want to really say too much about it, but it was a good book. It was kind of about if you were looking at a marriage that looked so perfect from the outside and then on the inside, so much more happens and not just what you think. It's... Mm hmm. I don't know if I want to say too much about it. I want to give it away, but check it out. My dog's barking. I gotta go yell at her. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please remember to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.